project is going to be a 99 Camaro. Uh, customer dropped it off, requesting two image dynamic tens. Uh, he purchased a box from an online company, saving uh, saving yourself some time and money uh, by purchasing a box ahead of time. Uh, doesn't have as much uh, uh, money into the uh, labor, so it's less labor intensive. Uh, boxes can be had online pretty cheap and shipped pretty cheap. Uh, we got a box for two tens, uh, image dynamics. Uh, the image dynamics are a little bit larger. We're going to have to route these out a little bit. Um, but uh, for the 79 Camaro, it's, uh, it's going to be a, a nice system. The uh, amplifier, the customer chose to set it right here. Uh, we're going to wire it up under the carpet, run everything under, uh, make it seamless. The amp will sit right here, and we'll have uh, two image dynamics installed. I want to take a minute about uh, the products that we're going to use in this install. Uh, we get an Image Dynamics ID10, uh, ID Max, 10 inch, uh, great speaker, the best that uh, Image Dynamics offers. Um, in my opinion, probably one of the best speakers you can you can buy. Super small box, uh, 10 inch is personal preference, uh, and it's just a. Uh, uh, we have two of those, power. and then we're going to install this Planet Audio um, monitor block. Uh, the birth certificate that comes with this is rated at 2,000 watts continuous power uh, at 1 ohm. It's a uh, heavy build amp, uh, kind of goes off the old stuff, the old school uh, Planet Audio. One of the Planet Audio's better products. Um, if you're going to buy Planet Audio, use the Big Bang series. Solid amp, very heavy. Uh, I've got pictures of the internals and looked it over. It's a, it's a really well built. 2.4 farad should be good for 2,400 watts. Uh, which is what is rated the amps rated at, um, but we saw by the spec sheet it's a little bit less. Uh, this should allow them a little bit better uh, performance with the when the base hits. It'll drop the capacitor to the voltage. It'll stop the voltage from dropping as much. Um, the better way to go if you're going to spend a little more money is to get a stinger or a kinetic battery. Um, they're like having a hundred, you know, hundred times, uh, hundred times one farad caps. Uh, they call them the cap killer. It's another good product, uh, but we're going to use this one for this particular. The holes already went ahead and routed some holes out uh, a little bit bigger. Uh, we had to route the holes out for the image dynamics uh, to allow them to fit. And I'm just going to finish this other one up. If you're just enlarging the holes, you just want to let the put a uh, large cut bit on it uh, that's straight, uh, not, nothing fancy. And what you can do is just allow the router just to do the work for you and route it out little by little until you get it to where you want it. After about three or four tries, it may take you a few times, uh, you'll get your router hole just big enough so that you can get your subwoofer to sit in there snug and still have a really good seal all the way around. Uh, good technique is to leave the bag on while you're doing the, uh, doing the cutting or construction. Uh, it keeps glue off of it or uh, dust or anything else. Uh, what you can see here, we got a nice tight seal around the sub. Uh, the Image Dynamic sub is uh, is unique because it's got a little bit bigger cutout than most speakers, um, but that just uh, tests to the uh, the size and durability of the. Speaker.